Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Okay, I got that first part under vacuum. Now comes this one. Okay. Now I could just stick both these in a bag. That would be the easiest thing to do, but I got two big bags and they're full. <laughs> Some other parts I got going on. Okay, bam. So, but it's it ain't bad using plastic. You know, I did fight this stuff at first. Man, I fought it. But a lot of it, I was putting my pleats in the wrong place. Okay, you think you want that pleat all the way out here in the corner? No. You want it up here where the end of your part is, where you need the slack. Okay. We're going to put a pleat there. We want that to just come out kind of straight. See that wrinkle across there? We want that wrinkle to stay kind of straight. Okay. Now, we want another pleat right here where that leading edge is. Okay, put a little one there, just a little one, they don't have to be great big, get your wrinkle straight, put it down, come over here, straight across where we want that wrinkle. So basically you just, you want this plastic touch it everywhere, you know? You kind of steer it around a little bit. You kind of pinch it. That plastic right where you want it. Okay.
that plastic touch and you don't want it draped over nothing, or you'll end up with a void. That is just beautiful right there, guys. Oh, yeah. We got back. Good vacuum. Okay, and I take my roller. This is a uh, roller that you use to put in uh, screens and screen windows. You know that rubber? And I found it works just splendid. I like to roll that leading edge and make sure it's down, man. Now it'll leave the biggest, nastiest void you ever seen. Ends, make sure that foam's down. plastic up you know it's just, you see them holes I poked in that foam that resin starting to come through it's exactly what we want so we'll be right to the right into our matting and that's where all the extra resin ends up so I'd, that's why I'd rather put a little extra resin than not have enough because the extra resin is going to come out But I'm going to be here making parts all weekend, guys. I got a couple other little projects done I was working on that I had to get done. And now I'm full-blown A4 parts. Bam! That's all there is to it. So I take my brush that I used. And I'll just put it right there. That way, it's just rolled up in my rubber glove. I can check it and uh, tell when them parts are ready to come out of vacuum. Bam! It's that easy. But I'm going to be here making parts all weekend. So you never know, I might slip in a video or two. Until then, we will see you back in the shop. St. Bob time. St. Bob station.